Good afternoon. I'm Camber Potter, and this is a KCTI News Update. Three elderly residents died, and 43 others were injured this morning in a fire at the Buena Vista Hotel in Los Angeles. The three residents died from smoke inhalation, while many of the injured suffered from burns. It took firefighters nine hours to control the fire, but eventually destroyed the hotel, causing an estimated $18 million in damages. More than 350 people had to be evacuated. No other buildings were affected. A family argument last night at a local bar ended in the death of 38-year-old Raymond Rayburn. Witnesses say Rayburn and his father-in-law, 62-year-old William Tate, were arguing over family financial issues when Rayburn pushed Tate to the floor. Tate later came back with a gun and shot Rayburn twice in the chest in front of the victim's wife, Catherine. Tate has been arrested and charged with murder. 18-year-old Sarah Tipler was killed and her passenger Arnold Curran was injured when their car crashed into a telephone pole at the corner of Mercer Street and Oak Avenue last night. Curran is being treated at Mid-City General Hospital. A collision between a truck and a school bus on I-5 this morning injured 26 people. Nobody was seriously injured in the accident and those who were hurt were treated at Mid-City Community Hospital and released. Last week's indictment of two former construction company officials for allegedly contributing improperly to Supervisor Linda Anderson's campaign committee has caused the district attorney to propose a task force to review local election rules. Edward Whitler said in his election letter to the Board of Supervisors that several areas needed more attention, including the level of contribution limits, bans on organization contributions, and having separate rules for contributions made during non-election years. 44-year-old Buck H.H. H. Jones has been named the new president of West Mid-City Community College. Jones is currently the vice president of the Ohio College of Technology and he'll start at WMCC next month. The previous president of WMCC, 63-year-old William Blyer, resigns for health reasons. That's the news for now. Join us tonight at 5 for two full hours of local Mid-City news. I'm Camber Potter for KCTI News.